Right, one of the things that I really like about engineering and working on metalwork um, lathes is that you're not limited to just working on metal on the lathe. You can machine all different types of materials like wood, plastic and even stone if you have the right tooling. And today I have these two spheres that I got off of eBay. This one's made of marble and this lovely one here is made of tiger eye. You can get all different types of stone on eBay that are polished into these um, spheres or ground into these spheres and polished. And to drill these uh, two spheres I've got these special drills here which are made by Drill Pro. These have a carbide end brazed on the um, drill and I found them excellent to be used for this type of work. These are multi-purpose drills and can be used to drill stone, concrete, aluminium, sheet metal and other materials. So today I'm going to show you how I make a really nice tiger eye fire start handle. And at the end I'll show you how I turned this large piece of marble here into a decorative plum bob. So you can see there that the drill ran out when I drilled it and I managed to clean it up with a small carbide boring bar to make it run true again and then I've put this um, spigot into the um, marble with some Loctite 638 so now, now that'll run fairly true and I can also turn the assembly round now and drill the other end for the other piece. So now I've turned down another piece of bar, brass bar for the other end and that one fits nicely and I shall glue that one in with Loctite 638 in a moment. But first I want to tilt the um, turning tool round at an angle um, to turn into this shoulder here so that when the brass goes onto the ball like that it will follow the contour of the um, diameter 
and there won't be a gap in the corner here. Right, so here are the finished products. I didn't go through all the machining processes because the video would be too long. This is the plumb bob. And you will have seen from the video that I put a spigot in one end and then I put one in the other end and machined up these pieces here to actually go onto those um, spigots or pieces of brass that were um, protruding from the bowl. I've made this one here so it has a steel um, tip or pointed end and the whole thing really has been put together with Loctite 63A so it's absolutely solid and I think it's a lovely tactile item. And this is the finished Tiger Eye Ferro Rod Fire Starter or Fire Striker. Great for survival. And again, it feels lovely and um, tactile. It looks good. And here, um, where I glued that one into the um, Tiger Eye, um, to cover up that gap there, I've rolled an O ring down over that so it locks into that um, gap and I didn't show the um, drilling of the tiger eye because my camera got some condensation in the lens and it was a, a very poor picture but I alternated between the um, drill here I think this is the eight millimeter one I started off drilling with that one and then alternated between a smaller drill until I got down to a certain depth. I couldn't get any further. I think I got down to about um, eight to 10 millimeter. And again, it's um, glued in there with Loctite 63A. The ferro rod has been put into the brass with Loctite 63A as well. And if um, there was a need to change that one in the future, you could heat this one up to pull that one out. And these are excellent for survival and camping or whatever. So it just goes to show you that you can use stone on the lathe and make some lovely items up if you have the right tooling.